fraud that my client is charged with, uh, the amount of the fraud is $689,970.24. Alhamdulillah. My name is Ishaq Mustakim. My father is from AT and my mother is from Switzerland and I'm Muslim two years now. I was born in Montreal and um, I grew up in Montreal. Uh, when I was a, a kid, a young kid, I was really good in school. Like my mom, like I, I, I'm sure my mom had like high hope in me because uh, I was uh, his, his, his first kid and uh, I was a really good kid, really good grades in school and everything. Everything turned uh, changed while um, I was uh, looking for happiness. I was only uh, living with my mom and my stepfather and I didn't really have a father figure. Uh, he was not, my stepfather was not a, a father figure and my dad was not in my life so uh, I ended up uh, being raised uh, by the street so um, at the age of like uh, 14, 13, 14 years old, I started looking like the, the other kids in school. Uh, and I saw them, like I saw the kids that were like uh, taking drugs and drinking alcohol and going out with girls. I saw them like more happy than the other kids. So I started to, to, to want to be with them and and try that stuff so that's what I did and hanging out with bad people uh, end up to giving us like bad habits so at the age of uh, 15 um, I was so bad that they put me in like a juvenile jail so I went to juvenile jail like for a few months and um, after that um, I, I did, I, I didn't stop like doing bad things. I did so much bad things that um, they want they wanted me like to lock me down like for good. Uh, so I ran, I ran for that from I ran out from that juvenile jail. And um, after that, uh, my mom had to send me back like to send me to uh, Switzerland. So I went to Switzerland um, to work for 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 her brother. And um, I, wor I was working there like for, I worked there like for like three months. But then again, I, I was alone there, but I put myself into a trouble that the police was looking for me, that I had to come back here to Montreal. And that uh, was at the age of 17. Um, at the age of 17, I cooled off. Uh, I stopped doing like bad things a little bit because I, I was saying to myself like, Soon I will be 18 and soon, like, if I get caught, I will go to jail. But uh, I don't know what happened with me. Like, at 18, like, I started back again and uh, they got me and I went to jail for, like, two years. Before I went to jail, uh, I, learned, I learned that the happiness was um, into getting high, getting drunk, and getting with girls. But in jail, uh, because jail is the school of crime, I learned that the happiness was into getting a lot of material thing, a lot of money. And um, two years in that jail made, like, just like, made me have a criminal mind. I was, I, I didn't have a really criminal mind before, but that two years, like, that's what it did. And um, I was, I was Christian before, and I was Christian, but I was not praying. Just I was only praying like when I, I wanted something really bad, or when I was in problems, into problems. And that jail time was for me a problem. So I started reading the Bible and uh, praying a little bit. And I don't know why. Like uh, somebody that I wasn't wasn't speaking with, um, he wasn't ar ar around like the, who I was hanging with. Um, he just came and gave me the uh, Quran and he told me to read it. But at that time, like, uh, I was reading the Bible and the Quran was not uh, read the same way. So uh, it didn't, like, touch me. So I just, like, give it back. After, when the, um, I got out from jail, um, I started my mission. My mission uh, to get money. 
when I got out of jail is uh, there the when when I got out of jail is um, then when I starting chasing the money getting after the money and um, because I had no school and the fastest way to get money was uh, the criminal way that's uh, the way I went and in every um, type of way to make money any t type of like uh, bad thing you can think I was in it because really my plan was getting money and um, I lived like I don't know if it was if it's a good thing or if some people would say it's a good thing some people would say it's a curse because in my life like I achieved like most of my goals that I, that I wanted and um, for 10 years like I lived that life that life of like luxury that life of power and respect so um, because when I say this like people don't really understand so I have to make a little bit like of of uh, explain it a bit like when we, we when I say like I had the things that most people young and older they would like to have that I had in my life they don't really understand because everybody has his own uh, perspective on like what is luxurious so when we're talking about cars Benz I have a few I had a few BMW, Porsche, Viper, Hummer, Jaguar, Cadillac, like most of all the brands, like the big brands, that's the car that I had. Like houses, condos, but not like only like the cars like normal, like the, the car, because when you buy a car, it's like to make you happy, because, but the thing is that happiness doesn't last. So after, right after, like you have to suit up the car. But after, when the car is suited up, there's nothing else to do. So you buy another car. Me at, at one time, like, had like two cars and I was renting out like other cars just to have another change because like I was bored. I, I had a house and I was living in hotel suites. It cost me like 10,000 a week just for hotel suites. So, the clothes, like just the clothing, like um, because like uh, when you have money, like uh, even the money like uh, change your style a little bit. Because before I was like, I, I was addressing like everybody. But after that I had to like buy suits, you know. Like uh, three, like three, four thousand dollar suits, you know, and uh, I had like uh, me. I was not really the type that was going like into clubs and and uh, partying. Uh, I didn't really like that. What I liked it more was really because really I was on a mission. I really liked it more, like staying home, counting money, planning for other other plans, you know. So when I got out, got out to, to, into, the, into the club was only like for money purpose when we had like <laughs> meetings or like when, when, they, when, when they invite me. So they had to be like VIPs and everything because the thing is that most of the rappers, they want to be like gangsters and most of the kids, they want to be like rappers but those rappers, they want to be like the criminals. Mm. And at one time, that was the type of, of person I was. I was a person that really liked like, to enjoy a good meal. So that was my, that's what I liked it most, most. Every day going to big restaurants, like, big, like the biggest restaurant of the cities, and eating on floors that most of you will never see like floors that, that that are not open to the public so we eat like for like few thousand a meal 
and that's nothing because more there's other people that's doing more you know so that was the type of life that I was living and I lived like a millionaire life for like 10 years but at the end because all that do doesn't come from from nothing you have to work a lot and at the end I was questioning myself like because when you have all that and I, I didn't find the happiness like even at one time because I was in my house that I all like I all I rebuilt the my complete house like <laughs> I, I made I, I, I made a container like to come on front of my house and I destroyed everything like throw out everything on in the container and I rebuilt everything like with the best of the material <laughs> but even after <laughs> I'm alone in my house like and I'm thinking like I'm not happy even if I drink the best of the alcohol, I'm not happy. So I was questioning myself like really badly. And um, it's then when sometime like you, you go into like little like what we can call like depression. Because you're questioning yourself so much. And um, at the same time, like because when you live uh, that kind of life, can be good forever so after 10 years uh, I got caught for a little thing and uh, I had a sentence of uh, 11 months so I went to jail for uh, for a few months nine months and um, because I didn't like you don't do like the full sentence like I went I, I went to jail for nine months so uh, there because of my criminal file like the put me like in a certain uh, um, area like the maximum and at that time like they put me like even like if I had like a, a, a good life there's always like you always want more so there's like always I was looking up to other people still you know so and they put me like in a in a wing with like those kind of people that had even more money that was spending even more money like they were talking like a lot of money so um and and you and we, it's not like anybody like we're talking just like that and you believe like you can read it in the newspaper when something happened like it's in the newspaper so um and they were t talking about me like that even them they were not happy even them like they wanted to change so really all that m made me even more like put in a position that I had that, that I had to think about my life and um, after at the end of my sentence uh, I got uh, in a jail in in a cell with um, a Muslim and uh, that Muslim brother uh, started to talk to me about Islam and uh, really now I was like because I was already questioning myself so I was really interested about uh, what he was saying and uh, what is a good thing for him what a bad thing for me he got released but he told me he would send me the Quran but uh, maybe something happened because he never did like not, I don't know if he never did but I never, I never received it so um, after uh, I got released and I went back to to my same life, you know, and I forgot everything about about God because when you know more into problems and you're not a Muslim, as soon as things go good, like you forgot God again. And um, while I was like do, doing my life, uh, I met up uh, with a woman. And um, that woman, she was Muslim, and her mom, she told me that I should look up into Islam. And it's then that I started doing my own research.